Well, it finally feels like summer. There's not a cloud in the sky. At this exact moment, my washing machine is running, my dishwasher is running, and my air conditioner is keeping my house cool. And they are powered exclusively by solar power from my grid tight photovoltaic installation. And that is going to be the topic of today's video. This is going to be two videos. In the first one here, I'm mainly looking at the installation and how it's working. And in the next one, I'm taking a, a nerdy look at some of the numbers of the production uh, and how it's functioning. Uh, I have been monitoring it and logging it's uh, how it's been working for every minute since 2012. So I got a lot of data to dive into. But uh, yeah, in this video, let's start by looking at the installation. So let's start here inside. This is where the power comes in from, well, the street and the solar panels. So um, not very interesting. So uh, let's move on to my tool shed. So here's the inverter. Um, for some, this design might look familiar to you. It's the... Um, Oh, a German coastal, I believe, um, OEM to be called Luxra instead. And I think, yeah, that's probably a play on Lux, with, which means light, if I'm not mistaken. And Ra, I think that's the Egyptian sun god or something like that. So this is uh, what's half past 12 right now, and we should probably be receiving maximum output at one o'clock this um, this noon so um, if, we can, if I can get this to stop <laughs> I think like this yeah so it's still increasing a bit for the last five minutes I've been watching it so it's still going up a bit but um, not by much so um, the panels are heating up as well and uh, that usually means that output uh, is slowing down uh, so they're getting hotter um, this is the end of may and this is the month where i usually produce the most amount of power so i like the design of this uh, inverter because all the electronics on the inside are uh, locked in a, a sealed uh, enclosure with uh, rubber rings to uh, keep it not waterproof entirely but still some i don't know which ip rating it has perhaps it says here uh, it should be seeing it somewhere i can't find it right now ip something <laughs> well i look at it in post-production and see if i can find it so uh, to cool it there's this fan right here it's uh, just like a, what you would find in a computer and it blows through a tunnel on the back side of the inverter and out to, through the other side here. And um, that means it's easier to clean from and, uh, dust and stuff like that. It's not getting too much in the way. So what happens here is we have the two strings of solar panels. It's the ones going here, here and here. And well, we can't see the output, it's hidden. So over here, there's a... 5,000 up to 5,500 watts coming out here. And this is the ethernet output. So this has a web server and a web interface. It's not that complicated. So I have built my own and we'll take a look at that in a little while. So if we have to keep following these <laughs> wires, it goes up on the attic in my tool shed and carport here so let's have a quick look up there and see what what we can find so what you see here is the wires coming in through the roof um, the white cloth here is sort of part of the roof it's a, a extra precaution uh, in case there's a leakage it will be caught by this white 
uh, on the side, uh, on the roof here. And um, so there's these patches here, which, which look like uh, rubber patches, like giant uh, bicycle <laughs> repair kits. And uh, so the wires are going through that to make sure that not too much water will be going down through the holes here in case there's a leakage in the actual roof. So, well, that's what it looks like up here. So uh, let's take a look at the roof on the outside. So um, let's start by addressing what is clear to see right here, that they are dirty today. And of course, dirt and dust on the panels are going to impact the, the production. But we do get a fair amount of rain here, so it's really not worth starting to clean them as there's probably going to be rain in the next few days. And I have noticed that even with uh, more dust on them than there's a dirt, um, they still sometimes manage to produce uh, peak loads or have a record day, um, which I think is kind of amazing. Uh, in the winter we usually get some a bit of snow and that helps it seems to get some of the more resilient dirt off the panels and in the early spring after a rainfall if you go up and take a, a piece of paper towel and try to clean them there's actually not really any dirt you can get off them it, they seem to be quite clean and uh, so i don't spend a lot of time cleaning them of course you do get better output numbers with clean panels, I do realize that, but uh, still today I'm expecting to hit quite high numbers of output. I recorded this a bit later in the day, almost 4 o'clock, and you can see I'm producing around 3600 watts right now. And if I took, take a look at the um, my power meter, I'm actually using 0 watts from the grid, and at this moment, I think it, yeah, 2700 uh, watts I'm putting into the grid. So I am using roughly 950 watts, something around that. Um, which also means that right now I am editing <laughs> this video on solar power. So um, I have made a few, as I mentioned before, uh, a few changes on my, my own program so I can monitor the system and I'll go into that uh, in my next video. But for now, I'll just show you this, uh, should we say, interface for cell phones so I can monitor the usage, what it is right now. And um, in the beginning, I watched it all the time, every day, but these days, uh, perhaps once a week, I take a look at it. And on my website, uh, rud.dk, as also mentioned on my, my YouTube channel here, you can take a look for yourself what the production have been during the last 24 hours. Uh, those statistics are updated every 10 minutes from 5 in the morning to 10 in the evening. So you can uh, take a look at that if you're interested in looking at the statistics. Um, There'll be a follow-up video to this where I go more into detail about all the statistics and data I have recorded for every minute since it was installed about five years ago. Um, this is all for this video. Until next time, have fun on the interwebs.